My BFI Player Plus selection this week is widely regarded as one of the greatest films of the 20th century. Roberto Rossellini's Rome Open City. A timeless example of Italian neo-realist cinema, Rome Open City was shot in the immediate aftermath of the liberation of Rome. The Allied tanks rolled in in June 1944 and Rossellini's cameras were rolling by January 1945. Set during the occupation, the narrative follows the disparate strands of the resistance struggling under the crushing jackboot of the Nazis. Superb performances by Anna Magnani, Aldo Fabrizi and Marcello Pagliero lent a rich humanity to the drama, while the ravaged streets of Rome provide a harrowing backdrop for the all-too-real story. During the shooting of one sequence, a passerby reportedly pulled a gun, believing that what he was witnessing was real. In fact, the film did begin life as a documentary project, with Rossellini originally intending to make two short factual films, one about a priest who was shot for aiding the partisans, another about children who fought against the occupation, both of which fed into Rome Open City. Ubaldo Arata's visceral cinematography blends the grit of reportage with the heart and soul of a drama as the people of Rome struggle with the constraints, compromises and collusions of life during wartime. Co-written by Sergio Amade and Federico Fellini, Rome Open City was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Screenplay, losing out to the best years of our lives. In 2014, a beautifully restored version of the film was released in UK cinemas by the BFI. It's that restoration that you're going to see now, reminding us why Martin Scorsese called this the most precious moment of film history and why Jean-Luc Godard once declared, all roads lead to Rome open city. <laughs>